What's up, guys? Welcome to Poor Man Mods. Oh, tripped on me. What's up, guys? Welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today, I'm going to be deleting the downstream cats in my 2008 ISF. Now, before we delete them, we're going to do a little bit of science. I actually already did the test, but uh, I wanted to see if the cats were actually restricted. If it was actually worth deleting them for a performance gain, theoretically. So, what I did was I put a barb fitting before and after the downstream cat to see if there was a pressure drop, and there was. So why don't we go look at that footage and see if it's even worth deleting these cats for a performance gain. To test out if there is a pressure difference or pressure drop with the cat, I have this liquid-filled pressure gauge right here. Running down, zip-tied right there. And then there's a barb after and before the cat. We'll hook the hose there. Check idle, cruising, and full throttle, and see if there is a difference in pressure. After the catalytic converter, and we are using a different gauge because this one is more sensitive, I was actually able to blow into the hose and move this one with my mouth. Haha, -ha, jokes. And I couldn't do that with the other one. So, no pressure at idle. Very, very minimal pressure when you rev it so let's go for a cruise put it under load going up a hill and then a full throttle pull and see what the pressure is if any and let off. okay we are about to do a third gear full throttle pull all the way to 7,000 rpm so this would be like 2300 to 7,000 and we'll see what the pressure is after the cat So, my current cat back, which is just a muffler delete, uh, appears to have practically no back pressure, which is kind of expected. So it's pretty good. Uh, nothing cat back needs to be upgraded, really. Um, no surprises there. So we will go back to the shop, put the hose in front of the cat, and see if there is an increase in pressure. And if there is, that means that theoretically, the cat is restrictive and is theoretically robbing a little bit of horsepower. And uh, if it's the same readings, I think I'm still gonna cut them off and sell them. Okay, we now have the hose going in front of the cat. We'll turn the car off and see if the pressure drops. Mm, I don't think so. And we'll give it a little rev. A lot more pressure actually this time. All right, we're about to go up a hill, see if it builds any pressure under load. So not much of a pressure increase with load going uphill, but now we'll do a third gear pull from about 2,000 RPMs to 7,000 RPMs full throttle and see if it builds any pressure. All right, here we go. So that's a pretty cool test. It does theoretically restrict the exhaust and theoretically is robbing some horsepower. It built about five-ish PSI and after the cat was one pound or less. So approximately a four to four and a half pressure increase of back pressure. So the downstream cat is restrictive. So we'll go back to the shop and cut them out. So after reviewing the footage, uh, in the video I think I said it was like 5 PSI of pressure, maybe 3.5 to 4 um, before the cat at full throttle. So not a huge increase, but it's still an increase in pressure, meaning that the catalytic converter is theoretically restrictive, theoretically robbing horsepower. How many horsepowers? Mm, who knows? 1, 2, 5? I don't know. But theoretically, according to that test, it is restrictive. So we are going to delete them. And I'm going to just cut them out and try to make two 45 degree, two and a half inch outside diameter pipes work. The passenger side looks a little bit easier than the driver's side. Um, might not be the best looking mod ever, might not be my best welds, but we're still going to get these cats out 
and replace them with these straight pipes for more power and probably a lot more rumbles. Because right now, I deleted the mufflers in this car. So there's only a resonator and the two cats in the manifold. So after deleting these cats, it should sound pretty gnarly. So uh, let's cut the first cat out, see if I can make this thing fit. In case you're wondering, I did make this brace and I do have a video on how to make it. It's very simple. You don't need me to make it for you. All right, so I'm gonna be cutting about one inch after this cattle converter on this pipe right here. And I'm gonna be cutting about an inch in front of the weld right here. May or may not be the best places to cut, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. And we'll see if, uh, if it'll work. Look at that. There's three pipes in there and like a gasket. Yes. All right, so we are going to weld this up with my MIG. Now I know it's all stainless. I do not have stainless wire in here. I know that's not ideal. Um, but you gotta do what you can with the tools that you have. And uh, I was just informed a guy is gonna pay me $300 for both of these cats. So I have right now $60 I think in pipe and my $40 welder that I've had for a couple years. So this is gonna be a, a profit mod. So uh, I'm just gonna weld it here, weld it up here, and uh, should be good to go. This is beautiful. Well, not really, but it's welding really good. All right, this side is in, it's fully welded. The welds are not beautiful because it's me and it's a flux core MIG, so I'm not worried about the look of the welds. I'll hit them with some paint when I'm finished. Now I'm gonna cut this one out. This pole jack should help to support it better so it doesn't vibrate around and just absorb the saw. Oddly enough, this pipe, everything should be exactly the same. It did not fit in this pipe nicely like that side did. I had to expand this a little bit with my pipe expander, just a tiny amount to get it to fit into that area where the mesh is. And now I can compress it, and we should be able to put this up and put this pipe over the back side. Theoretically. Alright, it's in. Uh, for some reason, I'm having alignment issues up here. I guess I'll just have to fill the gap with weld, see how it turns out. But, it's up there. We'll get to welding. Alright, finally got this one welded in. The welds are not good at all. That's par for the course when I weld. But it's in, the cats are deleted. Um, I'll hit this with some silver exhaust paint to prevent rust because it's not a stainless steel weld, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, finished with this. Let's get it on the ground and see how it sounds. 